Let's praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Let's praise the Lord one more time. Amen. It's such a privilege to gather one more time, together to lift up the name of Jesus because he's worthy of our praise. And we just want to thank the Lord that we have this opportunity to come together to worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, we're just going to sing thanks, thanks, because we really have to thank the Lord for all that he has done for us. And it's still doing. Praise yes. God. Amen. Thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh, Lord, I give you thanks. Let's lift our and sing it. Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed, my soul is at rest. Oh Lord, I give Let's sing it one more time. the king of king let's lift up the name of jesus right now let us concentrate on him and just worship him and magnify him let us forget about ourselves forget about whatever situation and lift up the king of king let's forget about ourselves and concentrate on him and worship him let's forget Concentrate on Him and worship Him. Let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on Him and worship Christ the Lord. Worship Him, Jesus Christ the Lord. in this house to magnify the Lord and worship Him. We have come into this house magnify the Lord and worship Him. We have come into this house to magnify the Lord and worship Him. Worship Christ our Lord, worship Him, Jesus Christ the Lord. Praise God, praise God. I just want to welcome everyone this afternoon. See the beauty of holiness, we are here as a part of the family of God. Yes. We all are drinking from the same cup. Yes. We are called by the name of Jesus. Amen. And at this time, we are gathered together as a family of God to lift up the King of Kings. Praise the Lord. Yes. I just want to greet my pastor, Sister Morris, and the saints that are here. It's a privilege to see all of you one more time. Lord. We are so blessed. We didn't have to be here. Amen. It's nothing good that we have done. But because of his love, his yes. protection, his grace, and his mercies, Amen. that's why we are here. And we are here tonight, clothed in our right minds, yes. to lift up the King of Kings. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise and praise the Lord one more time. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Bless the name of Jesus. Exalt the King of Kings. Let's lift him up and give him all the praise that is due unto him. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Let's give the King a hand. Hallelujah. 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 We exalt you, Jesus. I magnify you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I surrender my all to you tonight, Jesus. 
Lord, go before us in all things. Surround us with your love as we continue to place you at the highest place. In Jesus' name. Let's say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. name. There's no other name but the name of Jesus. Praise God. At this time, I'm going to ask my pastor to just greet us. And give us his word in Jesus' name. Praise God. Pastor. Praise the Lord, everyone. I bring you all in the great and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is really a privilege and an opportunity to be in the presence of the Lord to glorify him. He is worthy of the praise. Praise Amen. And we thank God that no matter what's happening out there, we are still able to worship. Amen. Nothing is going to stop us from praising him. Nothing is going to stop us from lifting up his name and glorify him because he is worthy. And I thank God for this opportunity that we are all gathered here this evening. Amen. To give him praise because without him, we are nothing. Amen. And we thank God for you, you and especially you as you participate in this broadcast, participate in this service, participate in this worship, because our God is worthy of the praise. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I don't know what you came to do. I came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't
we are together again. Yes. And we are together to praise the Lord. Yes. Because he's worthy of our praise. Yes. And so we're going to forget everything that is behind us. Right. We're yes. going to pull out the steps. Right. And we're going to worship the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. My Jesus rode the water fast.
harvest that the Lord is keeping us yes. and the situations yes. and the problems and the stresses yes. of life yes. come upon us and sometimes that children of God we forget yes. but lest I forget I have to remind myself Amen. that the Lord is keeping me
singing and praising his name. Amen. Because he's a wonderful God. Without wonderful. him, I will not be here. Hallelujah. And just ask everyone to pray my strength up in Jesus' name as Amen. I pray for you. Amen. Praise, Praise, God. Praise the Praise Lord. God. Testimony. Mighty long way. sometimes yeah. but still he's still worthy praise yeah. the lord praise, praise the lord praise Jesus. Praise and uh, so we were asked to um sing this song i gave you the, the, the um before i call it to read the scripture we're gonna sing blessed holy ghost oh, came down. down on fire you want to come up here and start it for us please <laughs> we'll follow you know it right yeah, no. praise god praise god blessed holy ghost come down fall and zion 
Deuteronomy 30, verses 1 to the end. I will read and you follow in your Bible. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. 
and shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee, thee and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and the hearts of thy seed. To love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, and thou, that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments which I command thee this day. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand in the fruits of thy body, and in the fruits of thy cattle, and the fruits of thy land for good, for the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law, and if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, for this commandment, which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very nigh unto thee, in thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil, in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. I denounce unto you this day that he shall surely perish, and that he shall not prolong your days upon the land, whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day unto you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Here ended the reading of God's holy word. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise, the, Lord. Praise, Praise, the, Praise the Lord, church. Praise, Praise, Praise the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. As we are getting ready to receive our pastor, I'm going to ask Sister Bob's to just give us a rendition. And after that, our pastor, Pastor Morris, will come to break bread. So we're going to worship while you sing. And after that, pastor will come in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Oh, Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I love the, the Lord. Hallelujah. He heard my cry and pitied Hallelujah. And true. 
about repentance and forgiveness it talks about restoration and what is really significant as I read this is that Moses is giving an important message through the power of God he is God's spokesman and in this time of uncertainties in this time of what we call COVID, when people's hearts are failing them for fear because of the loss of jobs, the loss of lives, amen, the loss of so many things. Yeah. People are getting fed up with one another, even though it is a chance for them to get closer since they are together. Mm -hmm. Amen, not going to work. Children are there, so to speak. Seems that everyone is on top of the other, but Amen. People are having all kinds of issues, physical, mental, all kinds of issues, financial issues, whatever it is. But Moses, amen, way back then, is talking about life through Jesus Christ, life through God, really. And no one knows or knew then, amen, about God more intimately than Moses. Right. Amen. And here is giving his farewell message. And he's saying, you're going to have to choose life. He puts before them life and death. Now we think of the choices as, well, you make your own choice. But 
I suppose here God is speaking through Moses and saying that life is better than death. Yes. Praise him. Praise God. And when we think about it, who is actually the one who gave life? God. God. Because when he made man, he breathed into man, and man became a, what? a living soul. So he gave instructions to man to tend the garden, and in fact, it was so beautiful that he prepared everything for man. No matter what he needed, everything was there. But he gave one thing, don't eat of this, don't touch that. Amen. And the tree of good knowledge of evil, evil, right? So, right. here the enemy comes and he doesn't know about life. He can't give it. No, sir. And what he's doing is telling this woman all kinds of things contrary to what is really God's will and desire for them. Yes. And woman succumbed to that. Man succumbed to it. Now, whether we know that man would live forever in the flesh we don't know that. There's no certainty. But one thing we know, that through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we have life. Amen. Because after that terrible episode in the Garden of Eden, God said that he was going to do something to restore man to him spiritually. Because what happened then is man died. Praise him. So you can see the love that he has for mankind, that he wanted to restore us, amen, to him in a very serious and spiritual way. Amen. So we thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ who appeared. And my question to you is simply this, amen, who needs Jesus? Really, seriously, who needs Jesus? Amen. And you know what the answer is? We all Amen. need Jesus. Amen. Every last one of us need Jesus. Yes, Praise him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I am he that liveth right. and was dead. <laughs> was dead. Remember, was dead, he told John. And behold, I live for what? Forevermore. So who wouldn't want to do that? And when we look at the, the choices, of these two entities, God and Satan, who can give life? God. Only God. Because Satan, what he wants to do is what? Kill us. Kill us, mm. to steal our joy, and to rob us of our relationship. So he is he is a home wrecker, so to speak. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He's just trying to make this family dysfunctional. Mm. Yes. Amen. Pull us apart. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have what? Life! And that you might have it more abundantly. Amen. So we know where our life is. Amen. It's hid in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise him. Praise God. In Psalm 36, 9 says, For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Amen. So we have a source of life, and that is in Jesus Christ. Amen. And remember now, he wants to give all of us life, to restore yeah. us to that relationship. Amen. To restore us to not death, but life. Because death is just taking us away from the relationship. It's just dismantling the love. Now, he, his love is not dismantled, but our love is just so shot. Amen. That what he wants to do is entreat us. Come back to him. Amen. And in another scripture, he says, and you in Colossians chapter 2 verse 13, and you being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he hath made a life together with him, having forgiven you all your trespasses. So you notice what's happening in Deuteronomy. He's telling them, if you do this, I'll restore the joy. I will restore the relationship. I'll restore life. I will build up a relationship with you that will not be diminished. Yes. Amen. I can't go wrong. Praise him. Praise so the question is, do you want Jesus Christ? Yes. The answer is yes, because he's alive. Amen. 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 The only source of life is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at his, son, his his friend Lazarus. Amen. Who was sick and he died. 
Amen. But Jesus came that day to restore him to just, not just physical life, but spiritual life. Amen. Amen. He said, show me where they lay him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you see what happened? His sisters realized, well, they didn't realize it. His sisters thought, well, he's dead. What are you going to do? Four days. By this time, he's thinking. But oh, he said, show me where you lay him. Amen. And he called him forth. Lazarus, mm -hmm. come forth. Amen. I don't know about you, but I know I've been dead for many, many, many years. Yes, sir. But Jesus came by my grave and said, come forth. Yes. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yes. yet shall he live. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. There's nothing, no grave could hold Jesus down. No, and with sir. his life, Yes. We have eternal relationship. He yes. said, you have he quickened yes. who were dead. Yes. Yes. Amen. The other entity cannot raise us into life. No, sir. He wants to kill us. Yes. Every step of the way. He said, you know what happened? In me, you shall live forever. Oh. Praise him. So notice what he's doing to us today. While you are there, word about life, word about the relationship, word about the loss of job, look to Jesus. No one writes that I look to the hills from when cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord who made what? Heaven and earth. Praise him. So he's always standing there. He's never far away. In fact, most of us are saying, look, this stuff is not over the seas or somewhere else you have to add. It's right now he in your heart. Yeah. Amen. All you have to do is give me your heart, said the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. In exchange for eternal life. So if you're sitting out there worried about tomorrow, don't worry about it. It's in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There's a song saying, I don't know about tomorrow. But one thing I know, who holds tomorrow. And the beautiful thing is that he holds my hand. And while he holds my hand, I have life. Amen. Amen. Abundant life. Praise him. And this life is only in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There's another scripture. Here he says, John 14, 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except through me. So while all the Pharisees and scribes and Sadducees and all of them were fussing about him, he knew who he was. Yeah. Amen. And it's only through him that they could have life. Mm -hmm. Only through him that they could have deliverance. Mm -hmm. Only through him that they could have power. Amen. But they refused. Mm -hmm. Thank God today we are alive in him yeah. yes. because we accepted him through repentance. Yeah. Amen. Through baptism in his name and being filled with the Holy Ghost, we are alive in Christ. So every day we wake up, it's a new day. Yes. Amen. Every day we look unto him, the great I am. Every day we look to him, our provider. Every day we look to him, our sustainer. Amen. Though sometimes pain is racking the body, we know that if we just trust him, he will bring us through. If we just put our faith in him, he will strengthen us. If we just look to him, the author and the finisher of our faith, we're going to make it. Where do you stand today? Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about the problems. I know it's easier said than done. But you know one thing? Amen. Even this morning on the prayer, he said, we'll cast our cares upon him. Just, just throw it to him. Oh, yeah. It is yours. Oh, yeah. I don't. I mean, I can't solve this problem, mm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Yeah. Take it. Solve it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Distribute the results. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because I know it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, I'm going to live yeah. and not die. Yeah. Amen. Because I'm settled. Yeah. Amen. In you. Amen. Right. Uh, you know, the writer said, praise God, my doubts are settled. Right. Right. Amen. Once you get to know him, once you get to experience the joy, once you get to experience the quality of life, yeah. you will say, my doubts are settled. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You got to have a relationship with him. Amen. It's not about, as we say, we keep saying, it's not about membership. Amen. People are afraid to go into the building. 
Mm-hmm. But you know what happened? Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, man, it's going to be over one day. Yeah. And I don't mean you're going to die at a rapture. I don't know when that's happening. But we're going to get back to probably normal life. It might be a long time. It may be a short time. But one thing we know, despite all that's happening, yeah. stay alive Hold in on. him. Amen. Hold on. Amen. Yeah, don't let go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, as a part of the psalm and the people used to sing, Amen, I almost let go. Amen. 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 Almost let go. Yeah. And you know, sometimes the problems in your life can be so overwhelming. Yeah. They can be so devastating. Yeah. You don't know what to do. You say, just let me just let go and die. Mm-hmm. But you don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Because your creator is a life giver. Mm-hmm. Amen. He will sustain you. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Don't fret. Fret not yourself because of evildoers. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because guess what happened? He is our strength. There's another scripture Isaiah 55, three, incline your ear and come to me here and your soul shall live. You know what happened? And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, the sure mercies of David. And you know what happened? Once he makes a covenant, he's not going to break it. No. There is nothing that is going to stop him from executing that covenant. I don't care what valley you go through. I don't care how deep the valley is. I don't care how deep the hole is. I don't care how devastating the problem is. I don't care what's happening in life. He is not going to break it because he promised to do it. He's a covenant keeper. Amen. Amen. Even in this with Moses, he called heaven and earth to uh, witness this. I'm not going to do anything wrong. Look, look. Anytime you want to trust God, mm-hmm. anytime you feel actually that things are going wrong, mm-hmm. just look to him. Yeah. Amen. He is there to save us. He's there to yeah. give us life. He's yeah. there to give us hope. Mm-hmm. Praise him. Praise and here's him. another scripture. It says in uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 4, therefore we are buried with him through baptism. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Unto death. Mm-hmm. But just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so... Also, we should walk in what? Newness of life. So notice what's happening here. Once you are saved, Mm -hmm. once you accept Jesus Christ, you become, you start a new life. It's a change. The song says there's a great change in me. And this life is only possible through Jesus Christ. We are buried with him by baptism and we rise to walk in a what? Newness of life. So we see things in a different perspective. We see things differently. Amen. We see things with great assurance that he'll take us through. Mm. Praise him. And as I go back to Moses, look at Moses. Amen. When God at some points wanted to just destroy these people. Amen. This man talked to God. (laughs) You can't do that. What are the enemy going to think about you? Amen. (laughs) Hallelujah. You know, you see the intimate relationship he has with him. Why can't we get there? Amen. Just talk to him. Yeah, there's a song which says he walks with me and he talks with me. But for us, sometimes it's just a song. Mm. But we have to make that a reality. Mm. Lord, this is my problem. I'm taking it to you. I'm casting my cares upon you. I'm giving this problem because only you can solve them. If I go to the other entity, he is going to just make a mess of things. And I won't look good when this is all over. I'll be dead in my trespasses and sins. But here you are, my God and my Savior. Amen. I thank you for the life that you have given unto me. Mm-hmm. And you know this one thing? This life is not just for now. This is eternal life. Amen. Now, who can give eternal life? Only Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. And that's where we are with this relationship. Yes, yes. We just not, we're not just living till we are 80 or 70 or 90 or whatever age it is. But we are just passing from death to life. No wonder Paul said, if it is in this life, that we had hope we be men most what? miserable hallelujah but in Jesus Christ we are alive hallelujah. praise him in him we live hallelujah. as Paul recorded one of those poets from um, Mars he said in him we live and move and have our being the totality of our relationship is tied up and wrapped up in him amen living in him is quality life. Yeah. Living in him is assurance. Yeah. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. 
Oh, Amen. hallelujah. And when we have Jesus, it's more than money in the bank. Amen. Amen. It's more than good name. Amen. It's more than a big time family relationship. Yes. Amen. It is life. life. Praise him. And not just as I said, life for now, but eternal life. Yes. Amen. Who doesn't want that? And how much do you have to pay? Mm -hmm. Look at what happens. He said the wages of sin is what? Death. 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 But the gift of God. Eternal. What kind of life? Eternal, Eternal life. life. Amen. And who can give it? Yes. Only God. And look how you have to work hard to go to hell. <laughs> Think about it. Sinning in there, day and night, miserable thing. You're so upset with your lifestyle. You're so upset with the relationship. You, do, you, you, you grumble all day long because you're living a sinful life. But when you are living a life in Jesus, <laughs> you just relax in his beauty. Relax in his love. No, yeah, no one the young people say, you just chill it. I know I understand what that is. <laughs> you not worried. Hallelujah. Amen. You just like Elisha. You remember there is a prophet in the Old Testament, Elisha, who was you know, he, he was so wrapped up and tied up in God that Amen. When the king realized what well thought he knew what was going on. So he was trying to give all these secrets to the Amen, my enemies. They said, no, but there is a man yes, over there yes. who knows everything you say in your bedroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what happened? He said, we're going to get him. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to get this girl, this guy. <laughs> Send all the armies and hallelujah to try to get Elisha. Mm -hmm. And his servant woke up one morning and said, my master, my master. Mm -hmm. He looked and he saw chariots. He saw all kinds of mm -hmm. army over there. <laughs> Elijah was chilling for real. Yeah. He, said, <laughs> he said, no, they're more with us than they yeah. that be with them. Yeah. You know what I realized? When you serve God, what you see is so marvelous. Yeah. You, you know, you see more things than the enemy sees. Yeah. Amen. You, 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 you just have this confidence. Yeah. And, it, you know, I can imagine... Amen. His sermon was said, bro, what's going on? <laughs> and I said, look over there. He said, no, more with us than they that be with them. Yes, Amen. And he had to, he said, Lord, just open his eyes. Yes. And he saw, yes. hallelujah, Terry. Yes. When you're living in Christ, he's going to protect you. That's right. He's, you look, he gives his angels charge concerning you. That's right. Hallelujah. So you don't have to worry, you don't have to Fred, no, no. amen, he'll take you through. Where do you stand today? Your God, yes. my God, is able to deliver. And you know what happened? He came for that reason. Mm -hmm. It's not like Jesus came to just show off about his miracle and all this stuff and prove to the Pharisees that they were doing some crazy stuff. No, 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 no. He was steadily gazing on Calvary. Because Calvary meant life. Yes. Even death, though death had to come before life. Amen. You know, he's always had life, but in terms of the process. Amen. Amen. And look what Judas did. Sold him for a few pieces of whatever. Gold and, you know, that look. But you know what happened? When he realized what was happening, he was so ashamed. But the point I'm making is that Jesus died. That you and I might have life. Amen. And just life, not life now, but life everlasting. Yes. Quality life. Quality. Amen. So you don't have to worry about anything. Amen. You are to hasten, as this lady, the sister said, hasten to his door. Because what? Yes. There is where life is. Yes. There is where joy is. Yes. There is right. where peace is. There is where deliverance is. Your great hope is in Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So as you sit and struggle through this hard time and these crises, one after the other. Oh. Amen. Look to Jesus, Good. who is able, able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. Only he can do that. Oh, yeah. The enemy can't do that. No. And in fact, I always say, if you should look at a brochure where we are going to be forever, mm. the one that the other guy has, he really doesn't have it tell the truth. <laughs> it's built for him. Yeah. It's what? Weeping and wailing yeah. and gnashing of teeth. Fire. Yeah. Brimstone. Mm -hmm. Destruction. 
But you see the brochure? Mm -hmm. If you think you want to go to Tahiti or Jamaica, one of them places, mm -hmm. you want to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Because you got to come back from Tahiti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the bills are still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the troubles are still here. Mm -hmm. The problems still about. So that's just temporary. Mm -hmm. But when we get to heaven, no wonder the somewhere said they'll be shouting on the hills. Hallelujah. They'll be rejoicing. Amen. And that's not just going to be for now, but forevermore. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to go to that place? Yes, sir. Don't you want to live with him forever? Yes, sir. Amen. And now is the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Just give your heart to the Lord. I'm not, uh, last week, uh, whatever time I told him, it's not just about somebody say, open, or raise your hand and repeat after me. No, this is a serious thing. You have to repent of your sin. Turn yeah. back. Amen. From your wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're out there as a backslider, Amen. Turn back. This is what Moses was talking through. I mean, God was talking through Moses. Amen. Don't worry about where you've been. Come back to me. Because he's a restorer. Yeah. One thing we have to realize is that what God wants for us is life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we may be out there struggling and thinking, you know, I can't go back because the church people are going to say this. And you know something? I must confess. The church people will talk about you. Yeah. And that's so sad. You know, I usually tell our people, look, if anybody has a backslider come back, don't you dare go ask them how long you stay. Ain't none of your business. Right, you right. can't save anybody. That's you right. can't restore anybody. That's you right. can't do anything. Yes, sir. Just rejoice. Yes, sir. Rather said, heaven rejoices over one sinner. Yes, sir. That repentance. Yes, yes. And you come talking about somebody coming back. Where you been this long? Ain't none of your business. <laughs> Where you been there out there? Ain't you tired? Sure they're tired of sin. That's why they came back. And what you're going to do is rejoice. Amen. Pray with them. Amen. Support them. Yes. Encourage them. Yes. Amen. Let them know God is for them. Yes. If God be for you, yes. this life giver is there. That's right. Amen. You know, sometimes in the old days, and I, I suspect they still do it, put you on the back bed for six months. I won. <laughs> this is madness. But look, you know, I come from that tradition. So, <laughs> you know, six months. And it all depends. Maybe a year for some people. And you can't even, you're languishing there. You want to get up and testify and rejoice. But what do they know? Do they know when you got connected with him? Do they know when he gave you back life? Do you know when they restore you? They don't know that. And some of those very people, I'm talking about church people now. <laughs> some of us, <laughs> we out there, we try to condemn them when they come back. And our lives are just as terrible. No, don't do it. This is about life. You want rejoicing. You want fellowship. Good God from heaven. Moses is saying, you know what happened? I put two things before you. Life and death. And guess what happened? He didn't have to say that. He could have said, well, you are grown people. You do what you want to do. <laughs> no, but he didn't say that. Choose life. Choose life. Right. Because you know what happens? When you have life, you are with him. Yeah. When you have life, you are supported by your Lord and Savior, Jesus yeah. Christ. So I thank God for all of us here this day. Amen. Rejoicing in the goodness of God. Because what? we are alive yeah. in him. Yeah. We have life through his blood. Amen. The lifeblood is in us. Yeah. Amen. Through his great love for us. So we're not going to give up. Amen. Because as one person said, life is in the blood. Yeah. Amen. 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 So God bless you today. As you look to Jesus Christ, the life giver, the one who died for us, the only one who can save us. Amen. For now and eternity. God bless you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We thank God for those sound words coming through the man of God, speaking through the Holy Spirit. So um, one of the things we have to remember, like he said, Christ died not to just give us life, but to give us eternal life. And so we want to take advantage of the eternal life that he has provided for us when he shed his blood on the cross. And so we just want to just give the Lord thanks and continue to serve him in spirit and in truth. Amen. We don't want to be like the 
church people like he mentioned who criticize no, we want to pray for each other uplift yeah. each other yeah. encourage yeah. each other yeah. help us to just have the love for each other to pull up someone who yes. may be weak yes. like pastor said we are not God we shouldn't be criticized we don't know we cannot see a person's heart That's true. but we can just pray for them and pray for them in love and sincerity yes. so we just want to thank the Lord for those sound words yeah. and as we close I'm just gonna sing this song. It's a lively chorus. This is just a good time. It's an interesting time. Yeah. It's serious time, but yeah. it's also an interesting time because we're seeing everything unfold and we're seeing the mercies of God extending to us as His children in this time. And so I just wanna say, heaven is better than this. Oh my, more joy and bliss. Walk on streets of shining gold. Jesus. Praise the Lord. At this time, I'm going to ask Evangelist Lambert to close us off in prayer. Praise God. Most kind dress and eternal Father God, as we come to you tonight, dear Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity, dear God, to come into your presence, dear Jesus, to magnify and worship you, dear yes, God. Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the word that was said. Thank, Thank you just for the testimonies, dear God. We pray for every individual here, dear Jesus, and we pray for our church families in their individual homes, wherever they may be, dear God. Remember the sick, remember the shut-in, dear God. Remember the ones that don't have no hope. Oh God, remember the ones that don't know if they're coming or they're going. Remember mm -hmm. those who don't know what's going on, dear God. Father God, remember those who are lost in mind, dear Jesus. Remember our families individually, the ones who are saved and the ones who are not saved, Lord, dear God. Remember, dear God, this dying world, dear Jesus. Send the word, dear God, to comfort their word. hearts, dear God. Let them know that you can give them hope and life and love, dear God. Father God, equip us, dear Jesus, with the understanding, dear God, that you, are, you came so that we may have life and have it more abundantly, dear God. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that was said and done, dear God. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. In your name I pray. Let Amen. the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God bless you all. Amen.